I'm Liz Matera, and I hate the minions. Welcome to Grumble Goat. My name is Matt Labodka, and this is a show about all the small things that drive me insane. Let's grumble. You might not even know what I'm talking about right now, and for that, I really hope you don't. So, backstory if you don't know who the minions are. There is this, like, children's animated movie series called Despicable Me. Steve Carell plays this, like, supervillain. I think in each movie he wants different things. Pretty sure the first one he wants to get the moon. I don't really know why, but he wants the moon. And to get it, he has all of these little yellow minions. They're, like, not quite people, but they're not really, like, animals. I don't I don't know where to classify them. But there's just something about them. But they're all these yellow things. And there's, like, thousands and thousands of thousands of minions. They're everywhere. Everywhere. And I know that, like, kids' sidekicks become things. Like there's Olaf, there's the pig from Moana. Like, and I, hey, I'm into it. I think they're really cute sometimes. But I think even if you don't, you just see minions everywhere. There are backpacks and there are lunch boxes and there are t-shirts. But then there's also like people just dress up as them. Just seen like parades of adult humans in the yellow shirts, the overalls and the glasses. I don't know where they're going. Maybe the minion conventions are like a huge, maybe they're fun. I hope they are. But they're everywhere. Like the amount of times that I have seen a New York taxi that has some kind of minion overlay, like it'll have the glasses on it, or it'll have like blue, like the overalls. I don't want to drive in a minion. I really don't. Like it's gotten to the point, it's gotten bad enough that like, I think there's five minion movies by some way or another. There's a lot of movies. I don't even know if they're going to stop anytime soon. And like, at what point are we done with them? Like, there's so many remakes and so many sequels and so many things to whatever we're doing right now, but we're seeing so much of the same story. I'm a little worried they're going to start infringing on other things. Like, they were like the small part of Despicable Me. Now they're their own thing. I'm, I'm a little worried that, like, you're, like, not going to see a movie without a minion in it anymore. That's how much they've started to take over. And it's weird because I think that's their whole thing. Like, I think the new plot of them might be that they're trying to take over. And I personally feel like they have. But also, like, Why are we not telling other stories than these small, yellow, creepy little things? Who made them? Why are they still making them? What purpose are they serving? I'm Liz Matera, and I hate the minions and how they're taking over the world. And that's the grumble. Grumble, 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 grumble. What? Grumble, 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 grumble. What's got your goat? For the latter half of the show, we'll bring in my better half. Veronique, for an unpretentious look and a segment we call What's Got Your Goat? Welcome back to Grumble Goat on the Road. On the Road. We're exploring grumbles in southern New Jersey. Oh my gosh. Well, we have someone from southern New Jersey here today. We, well, yeah, you. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, you're from like, Wildwood. We know that. I, uh, I'm from the crest. Sorry, the crest. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have somebody else yes, here Yes, we us. have a guest here today. Oh my gosh. Liz Matera, welcome. Hi, hi. thank hey, you. Welcome. What brings thank you over you. to Grumble Goat today? You know, I'm on Grumble Goat to do some grumbling with Ooh. some people that I really like. Yeah. Oh, well, you came to the right place. Good. Glad you're Grumble, you grumble, grumble. <laughs> exactly. Now, Liz, we've done a show with you before. Yeah. That's how we know each other. Yeah, we're doing one right now. Oh, that's right what I meant. We're currently... Now? Good. Yes. Not this show, that we are performing in a play at yeah. East Lynn Theatre Company. Absolutely. Who am I this time? Yeah. yeah. Who am I this time? And in your opinion, how's it going? I think it's going great. It I is going love great. love it. Yes, it's Good. my that first That was the show. right answer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it is going great, so... Yes. Yeah. yeah. You said it's your first show with the theater company. <gasps> yeah. So it's been very exciting. Eastland yeah. Yeah. debut. I know, I know, and I love it. It's so good. Now, is this your first show back from the pandemic? It's my first show with an audience. <gasps> oh, lovely. Well, that's how, one, how interesting. Yeah, I did one that was filmed with mask, no audience. Oh, whoa. It was very interesting. Very interesting. Was it a comedy? Uh. <laughs> How could you tell with sort no of, audience members? Right, right. <laughs> yeah, well, sorry that we couldn't provide you an audience today. Hey, that's fine. That's okay. Yeah, but we're happy to have you here in the studio. So happy to be here. What other things do you do? Yeah, what are you do up you, to? Are you tell director? Us about your do you life? Yeah, I occasionally direct. It's Excellent. been a minute, but I do sometimes direct. I've written before. <gasps> yeah, I, I mean, I feel like do anything. If you can, just do it. Just wow. do it. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Now, how are you enjoying? Because we're performing. Yes. Wait, hold on. You're from here. I'm from I'm technically a little bit farther north. My dad's from here. And she grew up coming down here every yes. summer. So yes. I feel like that's just a whole initiation process within itself of Definitely. the Jersey Shore. Definitely. Yeah. So this is like summer camp for you. A little bit. Yeah. I feel like it's a lot of like learning 
both the show, but also like how to do it in this beautiful church. It's been wonderful, but it's a lot of like, I feel like I'm at camp. I feel like yeah. I'm like, yeah. 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 There's a lot of heart that goes into it of making it happen. Definitely. 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 And that's what theater takes sometimes. A lot of heart because there's no money in theater. Right. Yeah. No, right. it takes it takes heart. You got to love it. You got to have heart. You got to have heart. Yeah. <laughs> All you really need is heart. That's from Damn Yankees. Yeah. Was Damn Yankees a movie? Uh, I feel like they had oh, to make a movie out of right? it, right? I feel like they made the, one of those studio movies exactly. out of it. Have you guys seen any movies recently? Movies? Yeah. In the post-pandemic world? Well, you're right. I mean, in theaters, out of theaters. Yeah, everything's streaming now. Right, exactly. I haven't seen any movies recently, but what I am watching right now is is I know I'm late to the party, but Squid Game. I still haven't seen it, so uh, I'm not that late. Wow, it's like really good. We, and we can provide you with plenty of spoilers if you're ready. Hey, bring it on. No, yeah. no, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to. No. You know, I did watch a movie recently. Yeah. I watched Over the Top with Sylvester Stallone. Oh, was okay. it Over the Top? Okay. No, it's way over the top. It's oh, a movie okay. about arm wrestling. Oh, oh yeah. right. Yeah. Have you seen any movies lately? I have not seen any lately. I haven't seen any in a theater in a very long time. <gasps> I know, um, I haven't either. I haven't made the jump. I know. I feel like I'm still a little like, I don't know. And I don't know what's out there right now that I like want to see in the right. theater that I couldn't not just see at home. Right. Yeah. But, like theater, there is a need definitely. to see people express definitely. themselves on the stage. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I think I've seen more Broadway shows after the pandemic than I did before just okay, because and I need you to mean go like be inspired more per month. You don't mean in your life you've seen more shows after the pandemic than before. Yeah, I guess I just I yeah, I guess I just mean like consistently Yeah. You're you're BSPM. What does your, that your, mean? Your Broadway, Broadway shows show per month. month. That makes oh, sense. Oh, yeah. That, yep, I'm with yeah. You there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense to have gone up. I agree with that. And I feel like the opposite about regular movies. Why do I want to go to this place if like I could have the same experience? You need a projector. Yeah. But you need a projector that works. You know what? I, I, I got to watch some episodes of Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. On a very cheap bad projector okay was it yeah. like okay. one of those like the bars screaming game of thrones because i feel like that happened a lot how can you even watch those in there i never went i haven't seen it but oh, you haven't seen game of thrones <laughs> i'm sorry you haven't seen game of thrones forget what everybody says about season eight it was an incredible show how many is season eight the last season yeah, yeah. Okay. they had to wrap it up somehow honestly and i i wanted two more episodes like i wanted two more episodes to get us there but i was happy with the ending when it comes to yes. uh star wars yeah i'd like two more you. episodes like let's go ahead and scrap eight and nine and let's make two new episodes no You're keeping but you seven, like them though. seven was great are you into star wars i am into star wars i'm not like a huge huge but my family really likes it so like yes i know i know a decent amount the clone wars animated series Yes. On Disney Plus. Have you seen it? I have not, but I've heard wonderful things. Oh my gosh. I think it's the one I haven't seen. That's okay. You should totally deep okay. dive. And now we watch all of the little animated things that come out yes. because it just expands the world bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, wait. Are you fans of like animation? Like, like Yeah, we okay. watch them all the time. Oh, yes. What, what's, your, what's your favorite? You know what? Soul is amazing. So was good. an incredible animated film we saw? The Mitchells vs. the Machines? <gasps> that was, was so that good. Incredible. The Mitchells vs. the Machines? I think oh it's my on gosh. Netflix. Okay. You have to watch okay, this. It's incredible. Well, I will. Can we talk about Ron Goes Wrong? Oh, Ron Goes Wrong. Have you what seen Ron? What are these? Where are you oh my these from? Oh, you, wait. Are you a fan of children's movies or not? I oh thought I was, my but now gosh. I don't know. Oh, Ron Ron goes wrong. Goes wrong oh. is incredible. And I'm not good at synopses, but I mean, it's about everyone has a little bot that they can pal around with, a best friend bot, basically. Yeah. They end up getting one that fell off the truck that is defective, and I'm going to start crying again <laughs> because then he becomes, oh my God, and then he, oh my God, and then he <laughs> he started, he tries to teach this defected robot how to be a friend, and then he learns all about oh. friendship because he's teaching someone else how to be a friend, and it's like really amazing. I want to watch it incredible. right now. Yeah, beautiful. What is your favorite animated film <gasps> okay i this is gonna sound basic i really loved frozen and <gasps> yeah. the second one there's, also there's oh, nothing basic about that that was thank a you. masterpiece was it's a masterpiece also i have one sister so like that really it just hit yeah. yeah she used to when we were little she we shared a room and she would do this thing for like presents like christmas or my birthday she would give me what she called caitlin passes her name's caitlin Aww. and they would let me into the room like i couldn't have one unless i had one of these little caitlin passes and she'd be like i'd be like do you want to play and she was like do you have a pass so that whole thing i was like 
I know this. That's I know amazing. these people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't tell you. That's why we're recording on the porch. You didn't have the pass to get into the house. <laughs> so that's the air conditioning's in there. You don't have the credentials. Do I get one afterwards? Well, you, you, we'll see. You have to earn it. What is, okay, least favorite? Uh, for, little... for me, I think I think it was the, the Garfield Halloween special. That's oh. a deep cut. Yeah. You enjoyed it when you were eight, but man, it has not withstood the not test of time up. not like a charlie brown oh i mean even charlie brown is like right. really half of this episode is just them dancing yes <laughs> yes <laughs> but they look great they're having a ball sometimes you just need a little you dance just need a little party. Dance. yeah what's your least favorite animated it's despicable movie? me despicable okay. me actually i think there's multiple despicable me so maybe it's there, like three or something. yeah yeah there's multiple ones why do you not like that movie wait hold on do you hate steve carell no i love steve carell i think he's great and to, this whole argument is shot you're right. None of this You're makes right. sense. Well, I don't hate him. I do hate the minions. <gasps> Why the minions? What do you hate the minions for? They're like... <laughs> Banana. Uh, yeah. Well, like, first off, <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're just everywhere. Like... I think they could be in any movie at this point and everyone be like, yeah, that makes sense. Like, there's so many of them. I guess I never really understood the minions. How does yes. Rue know all their names? There's because so much we don't know. They, like, They have names I like I think Kevin. he named them. Like, I don't think that's their names. Oh, they're his pets? I mean, I don't think his name is Kevin, right? Like, he names them. Like, you will be Kevin. There's also like a thousand of them. There's no way he knows all of their names, right? Where do they come from? And why do they only exist in Gru's lab? I don't think they do. I Did think he grow them? Over. He might. Do you think they're unionized, the minions? No, definitely I don't think not. they could organize anything because they just destroy things. Wait, they don't destroy they're things? They're like little two-year-olds that like know some things but really don't know anything. But any minion I think in, they in, try any, their in best. any gang... You know, yeah. the, a lot of live action movies have minions that mess up. Right, right. I guess minions just generally mess things up for people. Yes, yeah. yes, I think so. Now, he's got so many minions. So many. Now, forget the grocery bill in that place. Do they eat? Oh, I mean, they do steal they things. Eat? They would yeah. have to steal. They probably just go into the store, pretend they're going to buy something, and then they walk out. Liz, it seems to me that this grumble might be coming from a place of jealousy. I don't, you know what? I don't know. Maybe it is. Do Maybe you I want to need some moon. minions? I might. What would you do with minions in your life? What would I do with minions in my life? Like, in a villainous way or in like a regular person way? Both. I definitely want to hear villainous. I wasn't going that way at all. I just meant in your normal everyday life. But if that involves villainy, please. I don't know. I feel like I had to come up with one. Um, You're adopting I don't think I could do birth. anything then because they don't really do that much well. Like I was going to say it'd be nice to be driven around, but like they can't drive. Oh yeah, I wouldn't trust you behind the wheel of a car. Right. It's but like surely if you, like, if, you, if you want to play Frisbee or something, you, that got, would be fun. you got some minions. Sometimes it would be nice to like when you have to like wait in line for something, if you like send a minion, that would be nice. But, but again, I think you they would walk them away to no. stand in line. Yeah, exactly. Great. Wait, I mean, what I mean, would I mean, you do I mean, with I mean, yours? I mean, I mean. Well, I think I would have them clean the house mm. best to their ability. Maybe not give them like vacuum cleaner duty, but Probably maybe like sweeping duty yeah. and dusting. Maybe dusting. They could knock some things over. That, yeah. You know what I hate? What? Crowds. Okay. Mm. Yeah. You know what I think I would do if I had minions? What would you do? What? I would just send like a hundred minions to the restaurant I want to go to. Oh. And I'd just be like, go in there and bother people. Oh my and gosh. And then just go in and cause a ruckus and people would leave the restaurant. And then an hour later, I show up and all of a sudden I have the place to myself. Huh. Or like the whole restaurant staff has left because they're like, I don't want to, I can't do that. Well, so then, but then the restaurant. Well, that's a good point too. But is, then maybe they become the staff. Well, right. Because that the restaurant is then in chaos and new people are constantly coming into the restaurant. So it's not like it would clear out the restaurant. Well, I don't no, know. No, nobody, nobody. I mean, people would be coming in like they normally do, but then they'd see that like if minions hanging from the yes. chandelier and like jumping from table to table. And they'd be like, you I'm know, I, there's another restaurant next door. Yes. I'll go there. Yes. This, this is, is this, actually a really solid plan. Yeah. Like if what they do is cause chaos, send them where you need chaos to be. Oh. I like this. What, what if you want to, what if uh, Congress was voting on something you didn't agree with? It's the new filibuster. Yeah, it's the new <laughs> filibuster. Send Just send a thousand minions in there, there to go. terrorize Congress. They'll never get the vote passed. Oh I don't hate gosh. it. Yeah. yeah I can minions. get down with them in that way. Yeah. If we yeah. had a million minions... We could cause some chaos. Yeah. Minions. Why do they wear goggles? Oh, maybe they just need glasses. You think they're but prescription like goggles? I feel like they wear them because they know they're going to do something wrong and it's going to like blow up. You th Okay, so I the first like batch a, of minions yeah. all lost their eyes on exploding stuff. And, and so he was like, Groom was like, minute. okay, from now on, all with goggles. Yes. Oh, that's yes. totally what happened. Is it weird? I can't get this question out of my head. How do minions procreate? I don't think they do. 
Go there's ahead. so many of them. I was going to say, I don't know if I want to find out, but, <laughs> but but there's so many of them. I feel like they must, right? Or do you think Gru just like, poof? I feel like minions would be cloned. Oh. And just like as you clone, you know, the intelligence level goes down. Okay, so what happened after the Clone Wars? I was just going to say, Is yeah. the Empire no longer needed the services of the cloning people on the Rain Planet. And so they were looking for a new client and Gru came along. Oh, was like, nice. definitely. I have an idea for you. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I buy this 100%. See if they fit into the Stormtrooper outfits. Could you imagine a minion in a Stormtrooper you outfit? stack like four of them on top of Wait, each and then just like walking like Gibo, this. Gibo, bido, bido. Agada, bido, go bido. Banana. Banana. Could you imagine like Anakin guiding the minions into the Jedi temple to like slaughter all he of the would, younglings? I think he would murder them first too. Like you're not doing anything. <laughs> you're not like, doing anything. They're just like hanging the from them. Swinging lightsabers around just chopping <laughs> each other off. Murdering like, yourself. Oh. Yup, yup. <laughs> Minion limbs falling everywhere. <laughs> Don't give a minion a lightsaber. True, true. Could you imagine the minions like dressing Darth Vader instead like, of like simply no? <laughs> <laughs> oh like... yeah. Before they found Gru, they found Anakin. Yeah. Like, oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no wonder he got so mad. That's why he's so angry. That's why he's so angry. He just dealt with them. Yeah. yeah. And then like he's like hounded all the time. He's like, I am your father. <laughs> oh, I am your father. I am father. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It explains so much. What if, what if you got in trouble? What if you were in Alaska okay. and you ate some bad food okay. and you were dying of food poisoning in the wilderness, in the tundra, and the only one that responded to your call for help was a little minion, a little, little yellow minion with one overall strap over his shoulder and one goggle over his one eye. And he says, Bello? I mean, I would let him help, but I don't know if I'd live. <laughs> <laughs> This has been an episode of Grumble Goat. Thanks for listening. I'm Matt Labotka. I'm Veronique Hurley. Please subscribe. I hate when people say please subscribe. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Adult humans in the yellow shirts, the overalls, and the glasses. Thanks for listening. And while I have your attention, if you've been enjoying the show, don't forget to leave a review and don't forget to grumble goat responsibly and share with a friend.